Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about TestLink, one of the popular test management tools that is used in industry. As we already know that managing software test projects in large scale and complex software system is not an easy task. We need the man test manage management tools that may properly record test cases, manage and document test cases, record the result of the execution of each test cases, and generating the test result. Uh, this module is a part of a software quality assurance course at the University of Technology in Malaysia. So the testing version that I use is uh, 1.9.17. Uh, in this module, we split into four parts. Uh, so the first part is about our view of the test link features. The second part is about creating a project, test suits, and test cases. Uh, the third part is about creating a test plan, specify built, adding test cases to the test plan. And then part four is assigning the test case execution and executing the test cases and generating the test reports. So the whole part, actually, when we follow, is a consists of a steps that we need uh, to uh, complete the project for to to use the uh, the test uh, test link in completing the software test project or supporting our uh, test project. So in this part, uh, the part in this part one, we are going to uh, have an overview of the test link features. Okay, uh, the uh, test link features, uh, as uh, we know that uh, the test management tools need to centrally centralize and organize uh, the test uh, uh, cases in a very effective and efficient, uh, efficient way. So the test link can be used to create, centralize, organize, and manage the test cases. And then it creates a multiple version of the test cases for comparis comparison and use. This, for example, when we go through the test and then we need to uh, modify the test cases to the new one after we uh, do some dry run or so for the first round of testing and then we need to change the test cases. So it's allow us to manage the versioning of the test cases. And then it's also share the test case repository across the project. We can use the import and export to, to use the test, uh, the same uh, test cases uh, for a uh, different project and then the uh, second one apart the uh, from centralized and organizing the test management it's also manage and track the execution of the test cases so when we execute the test cases to run and rerun uh, the test case and then we may use uh, test link to record the execution so whether it is done manual or uh, automated uh, but it is uh, the the test manage, uh, test link can be used uh, to record the test execution whether whether it is pass or fail. We also can put the evidence of the test cases, for example, the screen capture or video about the test cases. So it capture the step by step execution, and then it also have a uh, the step the point of failure. We can identify in each test case. Then it also support the test run a specific configuration and parameters. Other features, uh, testing also have, uh, we may use the testing to assign the keywords so that we can group the test cases in the certain keywords, especially for regression tests. Um, and then we also speci may specify the requirements. Uh, uh, so we can link the requirements for better traceability between requirements and the test cases so that we know the requirements coverage of uh, uh, the test project that we uh, execute. Then uh, we also uh, have the uh, even e events logs that we can track the history of uh, the execution of the test cases. Okay, if some of the benefits of uh, the, the using the test link here, we have all documents structured and organized, so it's easy for us uh, to make a reference. Uh, for example, uh, for a certain contract in the software test project, we have to uh, uh, submit the, or deliver the set of test cases. So we can generate these test cases from uh, test link that we record in test link and then consider it as a deliverables in for that project we can deliver to the customer so we solve the problem of version management version management and then we can control the testing process 
and then we can see if all the requirements are covered with the test cases this is about the the coverage the requirements coverage if we add the features of the requirement uh, we can select the test cases for different type for example regression acceptance and smoke testing because in the test link it will uh, store all the test cases we may record all the test cases and then when we create the certain software test project, uh, when we create the test plan we can use that uh, uh, test cases again for uh, we can reuse use and reuse for regression acceptance and smoke uh, acceptance and smoke testing you can see the result of testing is very clear and easy to use form so uh, we will see uh, later in the last module how we can generate the reports uh, from the test link uh, the test report and we can track in real time the status of testing process some customer uh, needs uh, the guest id of the test link so that they can monitor the progress of the testing process so how many uh, test fails how many block how many pass and then how many um, uh, not run and then maybe they want to see the that, that statistics uh, in the real time so uh, for the in this module we are going to uh, provide the walkthrough the important steps in uh, working with a uh, test link uh, the step one creating a project step two create the uh, test cases and test suits create the te next is a create the test plan uh, so we need to create the project first and then we create the test cases in the, the project later we create a test plan and then we can select the test cases or test suits that are uh, suitable for our test plan and then we specify the build of a software and the test the build is also important because we want to link the test we, we want to link the test plan with certain build of software and the test so otherwise we uh, have a problem in the traceability uh, for example if we want to give a feedback to the developers uh, the number of uh, uh, errors and then how they can link uh, to uh, the software and the test and then we can add the test cases uh, to the plan uh, the test plan and then we can assign test cases to test engineers actually we have to assign test uh, engineers to, uh, to execute certain test cases without assigning test engineers to test cases they uh, no test cases can be executed and then we execute the test cases uh, for the test engineers they can run the test cases not uh, uh, automatically automatically test the software but they can record the results of the uh, testing for each step for each uh, checkpoint and then finally uh, the test link allow us to uh, provide the reports 